hello guys once again welcome back to the automation revolution in this video uh, we are going to learn about optimization in dc drive so first uh, we should know about optimization what is exactly uh, mean by optimization so when uh, we are using a dc motor or dc drive uh, in real application and load is connected with the motor so in that ca uh, case we need uh, maximum output uh, from this drive and motor uh, and second thing we need an energy consumption also so uh, in order to uh, make the maximum optimization from this uh, motor uh, we need to uh, calibrate some parameters and uh, as per that parameters we will enter the data in uh, commissioning so uh, we are making testing uh, for this different parameter like field current uh, armature current and uh, friction losses different moment of inertia uh, test is so this uh, test we will uh, to from this optimization and uh, we will get the data and as per the data uh, we will uh, make commissioning in drive so in our previous video we have seen how to configure uh, DC drive using starter software and uh, now in this video we will see how to make optimization so you can see uh, I have already configured uh, Siemens Cinemax series DC drive 6 R80 and uh, now I will go for this drive navigator and uh, from there we are getting this option uh, configuration commissioning optimization and service so i will go for first optimization and uh, i will open this monitor set point and actual values so right now uh, we are online mode and uh, you can see we are getting the details uh, parameters like status indicator and uh, speed set point actual uh, speed and uh, absolute actual current so in uh, all these uh, details we are getting online uh, and uh, here we are, you can get the value so now uh, we want to uh, see the optimization test so uh, from this commissioning uh, here we have option optimization run so i will open this option and uh, here we have different test uh, for this optimization so first uh, we will see closed loop field current control so right now we have not connected any load with uh, dc motor so we are not able to make all optimization tests so we will see uh, some of them so first we will see closed loop current uh, control and here uh, we are getting this parameter uh, field current resistance inductance uh, controller uh, again integral time and induction uh, reduction factor so uh, i will first active this optimization test and uh, downside we have this control panel uh, to start this drive so here uh, i will first enable and uh, now i will start the drive so uh, this test will uh, do automatically and uh, finally uh, after this test uh, we will get here uh, after our optimization so you can see here uh, we are getting the detail and uh, now we will go for another test close loop uh, armature current control so you can see uh, by default get data we are getting uh, armature current resistance inductance armature induction uh, induction factor and after uh, activation this test we will see the data so once again i will on the drive and you can see the value is changing and after this test this value will give us the exit result so it's uh, checking this armature current resistance and uh, after the uh, optimization uh, we are getting uh, the exactly detail now we will check another optimization uh, we will go for friction compensation so from the friction compensation uh, we can uh, know about uh, this 
uh, friction uh, for example we have connected the bearing in uh, uh, dc motor so the mechanical losses uh, calculation we can uh, know from this friction compensation so the, it, it will increase uh, this motor speed uh, step by step in percentage and uh, after this 100% speed uh, we will get the value so first I will enable the motor and uh, here you can see right now 1000 para rpm is there I will uh, enable the drive so it will increase motor rpm and uh, after that we are getting here the friction compensation uh, by speed now uh, we will see this closed loop speed current and uh, moment of inertia so that detail we can uh, get from this optimization test so I will enable and start the motor You can also uh, read the detail from this speed specified and actual uh, meter. So after optimization uh, we are getting the detail here now uh, we will see uh, the firing angle detail so uh, when we are increasing uh, motor rpm so in that case this firing angle will change so uh, you can see right now we have uh, 1000 rpm so as per that we are getting a uh, firing angle uh, so i will uh, first enable this motor and you can see firing angle is changing And as per the RPM, uh, we are getting all the detail information here. Now I will uh, change the RPM. So I will change the RPM of uh, 500 RPM and enable drive. So you can see uh, now firing angle will be changed. So firing angle is uh, reduced now and as per that we are getting here torque and speed. Here we are getting motor current, torque utilization. So this is the detail uh, we can use uh, while we are uh, making commissioning. So first we will uh, do the optimization test and based on the data uh, we can configure uh, the drive so we can get maximum output and uh, maximum uh, we can utilize the energy and it will be beneficial for energy uh, consumption also. So uh, thank you very much for watching the video and if you have any query or doubt you can uh, ask me the question in this channel.